There are different types of guests that you have in your home. The first type of guest is that person that you want him to come to your home. And when this person comes to your home, what happens is, is you don't want him to leave. I'm going to try and convince this person to stay because we want him to stay in our house. The second time of the person is the person that comes to your house. Okay, you don't mind him coming to your house, but you don't want him staying a long time. You want him to leave as soon as possible. So what you'll do is you'll quickly, quickly serve the tea. You'll quickly, quickly give the biscuits. And you'll try and convince him to finish it as soon as possible. And then on purpose, if he's staying a little bit long and talking, you'll start to... You just make it an act of looking at your and that's a hint to him that you need to go somewhere and basically you want him to leave. Then the third type. The third type is that person you don't even want to come to your house. I'm busy, so don't come today, don't come today, don't come today, don't come today, okay, I'll see you later, I'll do this. And you don't really want that person to come to your house. The masjid is the house of Allah Azza wa What type of guest are we? Are we that type of guest that when we go there, we get the feeling that we don't want to leave here? We want to stay here. We want to spend time in here. Yeah, We've got this peace and tranquility and we, we don't really want to leave here. We, we feel it uh, uh, almost like a burden having to leave here. So you don't want to leave there and you feel comfortable there. Then there's that person that goes to the masjid. And when he goes there, he wants to leave as soon as possible. Okay, he's going to the masjid, which is a good thing. But as soon as he goes there, as soon as he's performed his part, he's out to the masjid. And the third type of person is that type of person that Allah Azza wa Jalla does not even bless him with the opportunity to go to the house. What type of person are we? Do we have that attachment to the house of Allah Azza wa Jalla, to the masjid, that when we go there, we want to stay there. We, want, we feel comfortable and we don't want to leave here. But our day-to-day -day routine, our day-to-day -day responsibilities, our family, our work, force us to leave there. But we don't want to leave there because we feel, we feel peace of mind there. Or are we that person that we want to leave as soon as possible? Or are we that unfortunate person that we're not even blessed with the opportunity of entering the house of Allah as well? And think to yourself, why is this? Why, why is it that I do not have the connection with the house of Allah? Why is it that I don't want to go to the house of Allah? And in many, many instances, viewers of the channel, it is our own fault. We'll make up a million and one excuses. And these excuses are really whispers of shaitan. Even though you do have time, you know, we find it so hard in the morning to lift that blanket up and go and perform the zoom and go to the masjid.